we have a new safety in the building, Kavon Wallace, and you have Jalen Mills pretty much switching positions, okay? I want to talk about the safety spot going into 2020, and there's a lot to look forward to. You know, Rodney McLeod comes back on a one-year deal, which I wasn't a fan of in the beginning, and then kind of realized the Eagles kind of needed to do it. I don't think Rodney McLeod really wanted to go anywhere, but happy he is back. He really didn't play well last year. Um, it's going to be up to him and Jalen Mills or whoever's going to take the reins and you know, lead this defense. You know, we're going to see that leader. It's going to come by example of, you know, who that leader is going to be. I know Rodney McLeod has a voice with this defense. Jalen Mills has a voice with this defense. But drafting Kavon Wallace, the safety from Clemson, was probably probably one of the best picks that we had in this draft. Between NFL Network, ESPN, and draft analysis, they pretty much give this grade an A for the Eagles because he has the swag. He's a ball hawk. He gets always around the football, has good recognition of the backfield. He's a great blitzer, great tackler. Um, you can move him to nickel, to outside. to say, I mean, you can move him anywhere you need to on the field. He's absolutely amazing. He's a Jim Schwartz type player. Um, and that's why we got him. Another guy can move around the field and, and pretty much plug him wherever you want. I understand that Kavon Wallace is probably going to have to learn the terminology into the NFL. You know, all the new stuff that they have to learn. That's different from college, of course. Um, and But definitely he fits this defense. And he has the attitude towards this organization, towards being an eagle, towards this culture. I think there's a lot more that goes into it. Jail Mills is, you know, I didn't. I was I, I didn't mind resigning him, but I didn't want him to play outside corner. And you know what? He found a spot, um, and the Eagles are switching him to safety, which is new. I know we've wanted Jalen Mills, we've wanted Rasul Douglas to move to safety as well. Never happened, and we were pretty much arguing and arguing and putting it in their heads to change this position for some of these guys because they just couldn't cover. Okay, I've talked a lot about Jalen Mills being a good coverage cornerback you know when he does do a good job but at the same time for a sixth seventh round safety coming into the league as and then being put as a corner Jim Schwartz did a pretty good job because guarantee you Jalen Mills would not start for another team in the league I think he just plays well here or somewhat plays well for a sixth seventh round pick he plays average but switching positions Jalen Mills switches his number um, to 21 from 31 to 21 eh, pretty much it's a new era for Jalen Mills. It's a new beginning for Jalen Mills, uh, especially with the Philadelphia Eagles. And, you know, I was really happy about this move. I'm glad the Eagles decided they're going to change positions. Now, Jalen Mills is going to have the opportunity to start at the safety position. He will have the opportunity to do that. But it doesn't mean it's guaranteed. It doesn't mean he already has the job. Obviously, you know, Ronnie McLeod is here to be next to him. But behind that, you drafted Kevon Wallace. That could be a plug player. That guy can come in and, and pretty much start if he really wanted to. But as of right now, if all else fails, really, because it's more terminology and, and playing better, some people are saying Kevon Wallace is slow. He can't get to the – I think he's – you know, Malcolm wasn't really the a really fast player either. Not even in his mid-years, he was really a fast player. He was just smart. He had high football IQ, and he just – Knew how to play the game, and he just knew, you know, he studies the playbook, and, you know, he just got, he just has a great football IQ when he's in games and knows what's going on, okay? He puts himself in the right spot to win football games and gets the offense back on the field, okay? I think Kavon Wallace could do the same thing. If all else really fails, well, Kavon, if Kavon Wallace, you know, I know they've done some three safety sets. I know they've moved some things around. They've put some blitz packages together where you can have another safety out there. Or you could plug in Kavon Wallace on another uh, type of package. They could do that. I mean, there's plenty of things Jim Schwartz is going to get creative with. But Kavon Wallace is very exciting for him to be here. Um, a great attitude. Um it just I can't really complain about him at all. I really can't. I, I was I was really I was just really surprised the Eagles went after a safety. I, I really was because they pretty much had two safeties now that were guaranteed to start. No depth behind it, and they went out and got a pretty good safety, guys. A, a pretty physical, very smart, uh, very capable. Um, and you know what? He's not going to be another Malcolm Jenkins. He's another, there's no one else that's ever going to be like Brian Dawkins. I know a lot of people were commenting saying Malcolm Jenkins 2.0, Brian Dawkins 2.0. I understand what you guys are saying, 
But like Brian Dawkins said on radio about Kevon Wallace, obviously that, you know, Brian Dawkins went to Clemson as well. Cle Brian Dawkins pretty much said, let Kevon Wallace be his own player, okay? Not like he doesn't want him to be like him or Malcolm. Don't be your own safety, be your own type of guy. And even they asked Kevon Wallace, you know, even the Eagles beat writers have asked Kevon Wallace, like what type of, are you like Malcolm Jenkins or Brian Dawkins? He says, I'm going to bring something different to the table. And you know what? That's good. Different is always good. You know what I mean? Players get remembered differently, you know what I mean, when they do different things. And, you know, I think Kevon Wallace, you know, when I hear that name Kevon Wallace and see his attitude and just see his highlight tape and see everything that he does on the field, I feel like he could be a pro bowler in the future. Now, if he has to sit back and get plugged in for some plays during the year, God forbid, you know, injuries do happen with this team. If he gets his chance to play, he plays. If he has to sit behind as a third safety, I'm fine with that. But I know he's definitely going to get some snaps. They'll have some packages together for him to get some snaps. I have no problem with that at all. Um, but this is one of the most exciting picks, in my opinion, other than Jalen Rieger. Um, this was one of the most exciting picks of the draft. Obviously, the, you know, safety is a huge need. Okay, it is. There's nothing saying that, you know, McLeod's not playing for a long time. He's 30, 31 years old. Jalen Mills is trying to find his 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 home at a certain position. And the Eagles are, you know, but the good thing about it with Jalen Mills is that, God forbid, they need to move Jalen Mills to corner for some reason. And we have injuries and Kevon Wallace can move right to safety. You know what I mean? So you have corners with safety background, safety uh, safeties with corner background. That's what Jim Schwartz likes. He likes guys that know, like no multiple positions, okay? Um, that same thing with Malcolm Jenkins came out as a cornerback, I think, and switched to safety and then switched, you know, back and forth nonstop. I think Kevon Wallace will be that top safety and will come and, and he will work hard and he will get it done. Whether it's not this year and it comes to next year, you could have your starting safety come next year in 2021. But there is a he, he could have a really big role this year. And if he learns quickly, he could beat Jalen Mills out of his starting job. Could happen. You never know. So let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of Kevon Wallace as a player, as being an Eagle, and do you think that he could beat Jalen Mills out of his starting job at safety? And let the guy, let, to let you guys know, if I haven't mentioned it before, Jalen Mills was, I think, was drafted as a as a safety that turned corner in the NFL, and hasn't played that position since. Now I'm not saying he's not going to know what to do; he's going to be so confused. But you know, obviously, he's going to go back to his roots on what he was playing. But as of right now. He's pretty much hasn't played it since <laughs> hasn't played it since college since he was drafted. So Kevon Wallace probably has a little bit of an upper hand, but it's just going to be a lot of competition, not just the safety position, but every position on this team is going to have crazy competition. And we're just going to see what happens with that. So let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this. And I will see you guys later. Shake squad up. Fly or slide.